Have you heard of sciatica? A lot of people complain about nerve pain down the back of their leg. Usually the cause is within the lower back or pelvis. Uh, I'm going to give you two stretches today for the sciatic nerve. It's the largest nerve in the body, runs down the back of the leg and splits into two behind the knee, runs the whole way to the, to the foot. can cause shooting pain, numbness, tingling, dead leg feeling or the feeling that your leg is falling asleep. First exercise is this, it's called flossing. Uh, so we're going to sit up nice and straight here. And what you're going to do is straighten the affected leg or the leg with pain, stretch that leg out, and look up at the same time. So go ahead. And as you're doing this, if you're doing it right and you're doing it on the painful leg, it can actually make the symptoms travel down your leg. And that's okay. You're putting a stretch on the nerve. So we're going to hold that five seconds and then bend your knee and look down. Five second hold here. Five second hold ten times each way. This is called flossing. Go ahead. Go. And then look down. The next exercise is called a slump stretch. And same idea here. As you're doing this exercise, you can experience increased symptoms down the leg, and that's okay. Outside of the flossing or this exercise, no other exercise should increase the pain traveling down the leg. Everything else should actually decrease the pain in the leg, and you'll experience more pain in your lower back. Okay, so what we do is this, feet against the wall, knees straight, fingers interlocked behind the head, and then you're going to slump forward, so bring your elbows in, there you go. And this should cause uh, pretty sharp symptoms down the back of your leg. It's called the slump stretch, and it is okay to feel increased pain down the back of the leg. We hold this for 30 seconds, and we do three of them in the clinic. Okay, relax. Now, if that's too difficult, if that's too advanced, here's what you can do. Place your arms behind you and just sit up and arch your back. And what you want to try to do is, if that's too much for you, if that's too intense, you can place your arms behind your back and simply arch your back. Rock your pelvis forward. Uh, that'll do the same exact thing, but it's a little less intense than interlocking your fingers behind the back, behind your neck, and leaning forward. This is a little more basic, so you can modify it. Same idea though, 30 seconds, three times. If you can at least get yourself to sit up straight with the legs straight, feet flat against the wall. It's the third exercise you should do for sciatica or symptoms running down your leg. The third exercise is this. Realize that symptoms traveling down your leg, often there isn't a problem within the leg. The problem is, is within the lower back or the pelvis. The sciatic nerve, the nerve roots, where it originates is in your lower back. If you're getting pressure on the nerve roots there, either from disc degeneration, from a herniated disc, or, as is also common, a problem within the pelvis and the sacroiliac joint, if you have a problem there that's putting increased pressure on the nerve, that's what creates the symptoms in your leg. And you can think of it like this. If you have a, a long garden hose, okay, and there's water running through it, and you pinch one end, obviously at the other end, you're going to have less water flow. Same idea in your body. If you pinch that sciatic nerve, that's what creates the symptoms. That's what changes what you're feeling down your leg. The solution isn't to continually address the problems in the leg or put heat on your leg or ice on your leg. The solution is to relieve the pressure on the other end of the garden hose or the other end of the sciatic nerve. So what you need to do is figure out what's causing the symptoms down your leg. A good physical therapist can help you do that and they can decipher through testing whether it's coming from arthritis or disc degeneration, stenosis in your back, a herniated disc, or a problem in the pelvis. So the third exercise you should be doing is the three exercises that are addressing the cause of your sciatic nerve pain.